Hi, my name is Bill Burns. I'm the Director of Product Development and Product Manager for TotalView. And today I'd like to give you a quick introduction to TotalView, and I'll just do that through a demo of a debugging session. So I've started TotalView here, and we can see the interface on this. You're presented initially with a nice start page on here, which will direct you to how do you want to start your debugging session, if you're debugging an individual application, or maybe a parallel program. TotalView is built from the ground up to debug complex applications that are utilizing multiple threads and multiple processes at a time. In this case here, I'm going to debug an application that uh, will have multiple threads within it. So let's debug a program. I'm going to browse off and load my program here called ThreadWorkers. I don't need to set any other options at this point, so I'm just going to load the session. Here's my source for the application. And let me just start running the application on here. So this application is going to launch a GUI. So let me give a little room for that. And I'm going to hit go. So this is a QT based application that's going to simulate four threads doing work and then feeding a GUI thread with information on the results of their work. So if I hit start here, we see the threads working and providing information back up to the GUI thread. So let's halt the application with total view. And we can see in my process and thread view here an overview of my application and the five threads within it. Right now we're focused on thread 1.1 in the application. I can look over to the right to see where it stopped in the call stack on here. We're deep down in some system calls. I can refocus up to main to see that uh, where we went through and into an exec routine on this. I can change my focus to any other thread by just double clicking on it and I can see where those threads are. Again, they're in some system routines. I can go up to where there's code that they're executing as they're doing work. The power of TotalView really is focused around being able to manage complex applications with multiple threads and processes. So I can go through and, uh, and go from high levels of either controlling groups of, of processes or threads or, or I'll go all the way down to an individual thread. So let's run an individual thread here. So I'm going to change my focus level from group all the way down to thread. And I'm going to run this one GUI thread on here. So this highlights a feature with our process and thread view here where we're showing an aggregated state of your job. So in this case, it's the threads that are going and I have four threads that are still stopped and one that's running. Imagine an application with tens of thousands of either threads or processes. Having an aggregated display will allow me very quickly to see what's going on with my application. So uh, let's focus on another thread here and run that thread. And what we'll see now is that that one thread is now feeding information up to the GUI thread and as they're running going through. Now, of course, with an application and a debugger, you want to be able to control it through big breakpoints and so forth. So let's halt again. And we're focused on one of our threads. And let's just set a breakpoint in some code up here. So we'll go up through, just scroll up a little here. And I can set a breakpoint on a line, say, 51 in here. Now, by default, breakpoints are defined to a process width, which means when it's hits, the entire process will stop. But I can change that to, say, a thread width. So let's go through and change that to thread, and then run my application again. So in this time, I'm going to change my focus to the whole process, and I'm going to run the process and go through. Now we can see that my one thread, thread 1, 2 in here, stopped at that breakpoint and everything else is running and we see everything updating my application on here. So uh, again, this aggregated state is very important to see the, the state of my job that's running out there. Uh, my action points view down below here shows me all my different breakpoints that I have set. TotalView has the ability to put evaluation points in so you can, set, you can run a bit of code at a particular stopping point in your program. You can also put watch points in that will watch memory, and if that memory changes, stop the execution of your program. And finally, we have barrier points for synchronizing processes and threads. On the right, we can look at local variables that are in the application and drill down into data structures and examine the data within those. I also have an advanced data view that I can look at data and structured data through that as well. TotalView has some advanced features along with it. We have a reverse debugging engine that records the execution of your program, and you can deterministically go back through that execution. Just like you're going running forward and hitting breakpoints, you can do all the same in reverse. And it's a very, very powerful feature for finding bugs and also learning code. 
So this has been a really quick overview of some of the features in TotalView, some of the different aspects of the user interface on here. To learn more about all the capabilities of TotalView, please visit perforce.com and check out the TotalView page.